Alicia. And I'm Derek Kendall. And we're we your Red, Red Carpet, Carpet hosts. hosts. And we're coming to you live with trading photos at Infinite Exposure Fashion Week, part of New York Fashion Week. And I'm here with Jennifer uh, Phelps, the designer of Tokyo Twiggy. And I'd love to hear all about your line. I'm very intrigued by the fact that you make your own textile. Yeah, so I make all my fabrics from scratch. That was one thing that I had a problem when I first started was finding fabrics that met my vision. And so I realized that you can make your own fabric. So it was like, why do I have to compromise if I can make my own? So it's an extra step, but it also makes it a lot more fun and more customizable. So my line is all about streetwear, comfort, but also making it edgy as well. And it's all easy stuff that can easily be customized for other people as well. Nice. And what are, what is your um, what do you, you use as materials? Like I know you create them, but what is your base? It tends to be different types of like athletic wear blends. So it tends to be different types of stretch wear, um, athletic mesh, and stuff like that. I would like to expand more, but right now, since I'm based out of Indianapolis, so I'm, uh, I get my fabrics printed in, in Indianapolis. So I'm only well, I'm limited to, to what they have, but it also kind of works out for me because I tend to do straight wear and that kind of the athletic kind of works both ways. But at some point, I would like to also expand to trying to make for other fabrics as well. I was gonna ask, um, being that your name is Tokyo Twiggy, yeah. I was gonna ask like why the name Tokyo Twiggy if you know you're based out of Indianapolis, right? Well, where did you come from with the name? How does that spark up? So that one is a fun story. Was that um, I studied abroad in Japan uh, for the first time when I was like 14 years old, and at people at school used to call me Japan Jenny, and then eventually it kind of molded to Tokyo Twiggy because I was really skinny at the time, and so they would make fun. They almost made it like a, they were making fun of me, but I kind of liked the ring to it, so I just kept it as like my brand name because I was like, you know what? Yeah, that's what I am. So it was kind of funny to change that into it. A lot of the times, I know uh, childhood uh, trends and things that, that that occur when you were a child usually sticks with you when you go into your adult years. That's amazing. Great job out there. Great pieces, fashion, and everything. I love it. The story is amazing. Very inspirational. And, and um, you came all the way here from Indianapolis. Why did you choose Infinite Exposure shows for Fashion Week? So I actually did some shows with CIE Magazine in LA, and they were the ones that I saw like through their exposure that Infinite Exposure was doing shows here. And so I was like, well, I definitely, I love, liked working with that group, and so I was like, I definitely want to be a part of this group as well. And so I really enjoyed it. So I was really glad to have that kind of uh, connection and to be able to be a part of such a great program so I couldn't even I'm just really blessed and happy for it so shout out the Pickleball Productions Juan Carlos De Revere, and Marty Lotus as well y'all doing a hell of a good job over here bringing on the long board designers like this yeah. keep it up keep it up yeah. trust me believe me yeah we're honored to have you here and thank you so much for like the beautiful um, yeah the beautiful endorsement thank you, <laughs> thank you guys you guys are so incredible I Anytime. I'd be glad to be a part of any of these. So. Hi. Hi, really nice. Yep, that was really nice and we really enjoyed this show. And especially with uh, Tokyo dresses, that's unbelievable and we're in love. In the Tokyo collection, that's beautiful and that's our favorite. What about you? I think, I really hope that you understand me guys right now. <laughs> but it was so nice. I really like this vibe. And uh, I also really like Tokyo collection. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Не экономьте, пожалуйста, на билетах. Возьмите что-нибудь подороже, потому что в таком случае вы посмотрите реально стоящее шоу. Это неплохо, но в целом 
За 200-300 долларов вы увидите намного лучше. А еще я хочу сказать, что сразу лучше берите на Фэнди или на Луи Витон что-нибудь. Но а, быть, в быть в центре фотографа, быть в центре фотографа, это очень-очень круто. А, мы были здесь звездами, и мы самые стильные тут в целом. Это очень милый мужчина. Я его, наверное, люблю. Спасибо. Будьте русскими, не будьте занудами. Social media. Follow you online. Oh, I have my Instagram. Instagram. <laughs> Can we share our Instagram? Yeah. Okay. So. Um,